Greetings programmers. This video series is about functions. We're going to be talking about several aspects of functions and I'm going to rely on what I learned from Bob Martin for a lot of, uh, of this series and he focuses on two areas. One, make your functions brief and two, your functions should only do one thing. I think there is uh, more benefit to be gained out of that and so for my goals for this video series is that you understand the impact of using functions in your program. Um, I think you'll find that it makes things uh, more maintainable and easier to test. And um, I hope that after we go through this uh, walkthrough, you'll be able to use functions as a part of your planning process. So what we're going to go through here together, um, we're going to create a solution and we're going to start off writing as few functions as possible. Um, like Bob Martin says, they should be short and they will be, and we'll just see where they lead us. I will also say that, uh, I do not, uh, believe that Bob Martin would be particularly proud of these functions. Um, I do say that they are short and that they, they mostly do one thing. Um, and we'll maybe talk about that in another video series. So what you can expect is uh, several videos. There's this one, which is the introduction. Um, the next one will be an introduction to the problem we're going to solve uh, with a coding solution. And then we're going to get specific requirements around what is this program actually going to do? What is it um, we really want to kind of hold ourselves accountable to? After that, there'll be about 10 or 11 uh, short videos, about five minutes each. Um, of actually doing some live coding. And then the last video is a wrap up talking about what it is we did and um, hopefully the value that uh, you got out of it. So welcome to the walkthrough and uh, I hope you learn lots.